Hello everyone, it's Reed from silkies2go.com here. So today I'm going to do a video about something a little bit different. You guys haven't really seen me on camera. Normally I'm behind the camera. And that's because I've always had really bad teeth. About a month and a half ago, I finally got upper dentures. So I wanted to do a video today on dentures. I know there's a lot of people out there probably freaked out to get them. You know, there's a lot of different things. Uh, I went through many, many different things, wondering if I should do it or not. Uh, honestly, I'm happy I did it. At the same time, I'm still kind of getting used to them and everything. Uh, I paid extra to do two different sets instead of just the one, and I figure it's going to be well worth it. I can already tell because I've had one alignment, and the day I had the alignment, uh, the top denture was definitely sticking a lot better. It's been about a week since I've done that and it's already starting to slip a little bit. So far, I'm into this, you know, about a month and a half, give or take a little bit. I've not used any denture cream and they're staying in just fine. I mean, I gotta pull them to actually get them to fall out. Uh, the day before I got them realigned, I mean, they kind of slipped a little bit, nothing really to worry about. Anyways, the very first day, it was definitely interesting. Uh, I was a little bit sick when I went in. I shouldn't have been sick. I should have canceled my appointment, but I was getting over being sick. I thought, I've waited months to do this. I can do it. And that was the wrong choice. Uh, nothing bad really happened, but they numbed my mouth up, and instead of just numbing this side they numbed everything because they're pulling out the top i mean go figure it was a really really weird feeling uh, i got up into my nose and everything and everything was fine until i needed to cough now i didn't want to tell the dentist that i was getting over being sick and so i had a tickle in my throat i kind of freaked out panicked a little bit because i couldn't really do nothing about it i couldn't really feel anything uh they were really cool they just kind of sat me up, had me kind of drool. Uh, you know, they let me calm down. They told me it was kind of normal for people to freak out a little bit, which I'm scared of needles. I have tattoos and everything, but needles definitely always scared me. Once you got numb, you know, that was kind of scary too. Uh, dentists have always been my big fear. Anyways, so we got past that, took another 10 minutes or something to calm down and all that kind of stuff before the doctor came back in. As far as pulling the teeth, I had 12 teeth pulled. Uh, I already had a couple of teeth pulled in the past, so there was only 12 left for them to do. It went by really quick. I was actually kind of surprised. Um, I, you know, there wasn't really anything to worry about. One tooth kind of dropped and I almost choked on it, but they were really quick, you sucked on it and everything and everything went fine uh when i got done i had a little bit of pain right here uh my uh shot was starting to wear off a little bit because of the extra time of me freaking out they didn't really expect that uh anyways i had an issue with my pain medicine i just switched uh dental insurance and health insurance and everything for this job that i got and i've never bought medicine uh, with the new insurance. So I went to my typical pharmacy, tried to fill the prescription. I couldn't talk worth the life of me. And they told me they don't take my insurance, so they want to charge me, so I had to leave. I went home, my mom, she tried telling her to look up my new insurance and see who would take it. She had no idea what I was saying, so I had to text it on my phone to her so she knew. Uh, she went and got my medicine for me and that was a little bit stressful because it took an extra probably two hours to get my medicine than i was expecting it to so the pain medicine was wearing off uh, i ended up getting ibuprofen and took some of that they told me to take ibuprofen and the vicodin uh the ibuprofen you know kicked in a little bit i took one vicodin uh, a few hours later and my mouth was definitely sore i mean it's gonna be sore when you have 12 teeth pulled. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was, you know. I 
fell asleep. They had me keep my dentures in overnight. That way my gums didn't expand and everything. It was not that bad. I thought, you know, they might fall out. I might choke on them or something. Nothing like that happened at all. Uh, I woke up, felt a lot better. I actually went to work the next day. Um, I told my work I was going to take it easy. Told them what I did. And I told them ahead of time that I might not be there for a couple of days because I've heard other people and honestly it wasn't that bad for a living I'm lifting stuff and running around all day and I could talk I mean it wasn't something I enjoyed doing I had my partner do some of the talking that I would normally do and that kind of stuff but I was back at work so getting your teeth pulled is not that bad some people probably it's a little bit worse but out of that entire time, I think I took one Vicodin. The rest of the time, I just took ibuprofen. It was really the first day that was the real pain. The second day wasn't super bad. Eating, that was another story. I was probably a week or two that I ended up eating mashed potatoes, uh, mac and cheese, oatmeal, uh, eggs, pretty much yogurt anything that was really soft that I didn't have to chew on at all that I could pretty much just swallow that's what I had for the first week or two um you know I kind of got a little daring at that like week two week time tried to eat some stuff and I couldn't do it quite yet uh wasn't really planning on eating that early anyway by week three I kind of ate some stuff a little bit harder but right here where it hurt that first day my denture actually had a little bit of a lip on it so i ended up getting a sore and when i went back in they kind of ground it down and everything that went away and i started eating a little bit harder food still not anything super hard um i mean you just kind of got to look at different foods and see what you can do i ate some stuff like bread and tacos and stuff but I broke it up into real small pieces and that definitely helped uh, honestly I would just stick with some you know stuff you don't like for the first three weeks or so by the fourth week I was eating tacos and stuff without any problem until my denture was so loose it started falling out that was a real pain I should have probably went and got some denture cream but I wanted to go without it so when I would eat some stuff, my denture would sit there and go. See, right now it's really tight. I had to pull on it quite a bit. Anyways, that week uh, that I was getting that alignment done, it was not tight like that at all. When I'd eat, it would just pop out. I mean, it stayed in my mouth, but it kind of turned sideways and I'd bite back down on it. And it definitely hurt. I scraped my gums a little bit, but then I went in, got my alignment tightened it right back up uh it was really simple i mean they just put some stuff in stick it back in make you bite down and it makes a new seal and everything they heat it up do whatever uh it's been a week or two since i've had that alignment i can tell that it's starting to loosen up again they told me i'll probably have to have one more realignment uh, for the soft liner and then I'll probably get my final set of dentures. So I'm excited for that. They told me I'm healing a lot quicker than a lot of people. Uh, as far as my gums, they have little divots in them where your teeth came out, all the little holes. So that's almost flattened out now for me. Uh, you know, people, they're all gonna be different. You know, some people six months, some people five months. Mine, I think they said like, four and a half five months I'll probably get my final set because my gums are healing really well uh, I didn't do anything really special when I first got home you know it was rinse your mouth out with warm salt water I just went to the store bought some cheap little salt you know it cost a dollar for that giant thing uh, I think it was like a tablespoon per eight ounces or something you know, enough that you can taste it. Put warm water, kind of swish it around, let it dissolve a little bit. Put it in my mouth, swish it around, you know, let it drool out, don't spit. Your first probably three, four days. That first three or four days is the time that you really don't want to suck on anything. You don't want to be smoking. Uh, your 
gums and everything are still healing your blood clot you don't want it to pop out because that's when your teeth really will hurt uh, you know i coughed a couple times because i was sick i was scared that i was going to have that blood clot pop out it never did thank god um now you know there's not a whole lot i can say i'm really happy when you're looking um you can tell that they're fake if you know that they're fake uh my final ones i'm going to change them a little bit my smile there's a lot of gums i don't want that that's my old smile uh, my old smile i had a lot of gums and before they made my dentures i forgot to tell them i don't want so much gum showing so pretty much that is my old teeth uh just straight and not completely decaying on me uh so my next teeth i'm gonna either get them longer or raised up to where they're way up here uh it'll be more natural my final set i can change quite a bit i can change the shape the color the size all kinds of different stuff so these you know i'm happy with them but they're definitely going to be some improvement for my final ones they didn't want to do the bottoms because they feel like my bottoms are too good so we're going to do a deep cleaning and uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have them straightened out or not. I'm probably going to do a teeth whitening on them. I think there's five fillings on the bottom that we're going to end up doing. Uh, stuff like that. So the bottom is still messed up, but it was good enough that they didn't want to pull it because I guess the bottoms are harder to get used to than the tops. The tops have the roof of the mouth where it causes a suction and everything. Uh, so this is what it is when I smile when I talk you know you see my bottoms a little bit but not a whole lot I wasn't really worried about the bottoms I didn't want to spend the extra money on it the tops is really what I was worried about so anyways that's what they are as far as cleaning it's really simple I brush my normal teeth like normal I pop out my dentures I'll brush my gums now that they're healed brush the roof of my mouth a little bit, spit it out, brush my tongue. As far as the dentures go, they're super simple. Uh, let's see here if I can do this one-handed. I just got out of the shower here. So anyways, we have these little things right here. I don't really wanna show a name on them. I didn't use these for a while. Uh, I just brushed them. Super simple here. So I just take this, put on some warm water, toss that in there. Give these guys a little wiggle. Just kind of rinse them off a bit. Toss them in there like that. Shut it, leave them overnight, or for at least three minutes, I think these ones say. Uh, when I'm done, I just come here. Rinse them off. Put them back in. Normally I do brush them. Uh, I'm not doing it because I'm holding my phone with one hand and you know this is just a real quick demonstration. They give you this special toothbrush. It's super soft. It's meant for your dentures. As you can tell this side is at an angle. They can get inside that little crack and everything. Uh, they make special toothpaste for dentures. Uh, my dentist told me hey you don't need to waste no money just get some normal antibacterial dish soap uh, or hand soap and use that so I bought some a big huge bottle of soap you know three dollars or something and I was brushing my dentures with that you're not supposed to use normal toothpaste because it will scratch your dentures and once you do that then your teeth uh, will start getting all the food and stuff like that so you know it's nothing a whole lot you guys can email me if you have questions about this if this is something that you guys have been thinking about doing uh 
you know, email me, shoot a text, 